In the last video we looked at energy and energy conservation and I'd like to just uh, wrap that up by talking about power. Now power is given by a capital P. Okay, this is capital P here and it's measured in units called watts. That might sound really lame but I love this joke and I would always ask students, what's the unit of power? Well, they're watts. That's really dumb. But um, power is given by watts. Keep in mind it's not momentum. See, this power is a capital P, momentum has a lowercase p. Keep that in mind, that's really important. So if we look at the power, there's actually an equation that you get in your uh, data booklet that says power equals F times V. That's the equation that you get in your data booklet. Okay, so I'd put that right there, that's important. Where, of course, F is the, whoops, so F is the force. And that's in newtons, you're probably used to that. V is the velocity or the speed, and that's measured in meters per second. And it turns out that these two things are vectors, but power is not, it's a scalar. So P is the power, and that's given in watts. We actually normally just write a W. W denotes watts. But I think a much more important equation, this is one that's not in your data booklet, it's one of the few equations I would strongly recommend memorizing. In fact, if you're only going to memorize one equation, this is the one to memorize. This is it. And it's this. Power is equal to work over time. In other words, it's a form of energy. So energy over time. This is so useful. This equation right here helps you. Now, it's not in your equation sheet, uh, your data booklet, I mean, but it's so important. Okay, this one right here, power is work over time. This means, uh, what I was alluding to before, when you did this horsepower lab, you know, you want to run up the stairs and see what your power was. Well, your power is related to the work done over time, which means, in this case, if you're running up the stairs, it's just the energy, uh, the potential energy in this case. So that would be MGH over your time. So you see that power is useful for finding, let's say, your horsepower. But I've seen some questions um, and some other situations where you use this in unlikely situations. So let's say you're looking at a circuit, and they say, in this circuit, um, what's going to be the power if a mo like an electric motor lifts up something from one height to another height in a certain time? And people are usually like, whoa, what? Where's the voltage and current, and what am I doing? It's so easy. All you have to do is remember, power is work over time which means if you raise something from some lower height and raise it up, you've done work, haven't you, to go from one height to another height. And that means it's going to be the energy, which is mgh, divided by the time. So power is very, very useful. I would even hesitate to say it's powerful. <laughs> Sorry, that's lame. But uh, this is actually really important. And uh, this equation right here especially comes in to really save the day in a lot of situations in physics.